Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Wake Plays City Skyline. And this time, we're finally going to bite the bullet and take care of this uh, main roundabout in the center of our city. Uh, that was kind of where we put the center of our city early on in the first few episodes. Um, and it's clearly not not going to work with kind of how we're, we're doing our city lately so i'm gonna redo this thing this episode and uh what we're gonna do is a highway artery coming down this direction to some kind of roundabout and then it'll be a four-way interchange and i think i will design it roughly the same as this one here so uh i will get that going get some of that done and I'll show it off to you when that's done. Uh, something else that I think, I don't know if we'll get to it this episode or not, but I want to start filling in this sort of triangular area here. And I think this is going to be actually a combination of residential, commercial, and offices uh, in this zone, which means we might want to move our garbage at some point, uh, find some more convenient places, and in fact, spreading the garbage processing out a bit would probably be a good idea so we'll get to that as well at some point and then I think this zone over here <clears throat> uh, roughly in the shape that it's in now will be our, our main industrial core I think so that's the plan uh, I will get to doing this road and be back with you when I have something to show you okay we're back let's turn this thing on and see what happens uh, let's actually get our speed up a little bit so this clears up quicker. Now obviously this over here is going to be a source of backup, uh, so we'll have to watch that. But it looks like I got the directions correct. Uh, we've got all of the entrances and exits hooked up correctly, I believe, so that's looking relatively good. The intersection itself is good, it's just uh, this bit here. So that's going to clog this thing way back, I think. Um, and, and yeah, and we gotta we gotta distribute our industry a little bit better. I mean, if you look at the uh, the zone map, all of our industry or virtually all of it is up there. Tiny bit down here, but we're gonna need some over on this side just to try and balance out the traffic of you know where people are going for their jobs. Um, so anyway, I I did that. I also had to obviously rearrange this up here. Oh. <laughs> Let's turn that back on. Okay, yeah, this is this is a bit of a, an issue here for obvious reasons. Uh, that's going to have to get fixed. Um, might not be so bad once this clears out uh, for the first time. We'll see. We got a ton of garbage trucks coming down here. Now, this might just be a steady stream. I went for kind of a similar idea to the other things. I mean, it's, it's a four-way interchange. There's you know, really only one way to connect it up, but you can make it aesthetically a little different. So I went with kind of an octagon pattern and it's all wonky, but you know, you're not really given the tools to make perfect shapes, especially with raised platforms. Cause with raised stuff, there's no, there's no frontage. Um, and so there's no snap, you know, especially angular snap. You can see I, I do get some of something of a snap out but there's no there's no angular snap at all so you can't you're just guessing um, also if you're doing raised uh, raised roads that don't have oops that don't have frontage there's not even the length snap um, so you're really just totally freehanding uh, those things oops so kind of some interesting stuff okay this is clearing up a little bit uh, it looks like the main clog is still still this and obviously a bit here it looks like a lot of people are exiting we've got some issues with this over here this was kind of an emergency zone when we started losing population um, so we'll have to come back to that but let's let's pop open our traffic map and see what that did uh, garbage trucks right here, big problem still. So that's definitely gonna have to get addressed. In fact, we might be able to do something with that right now. Uh, we could probably upgrade these exits to uh, actual two-lane one-ways. 
which should help. Uh, you know, gives us the extra lane. So you can see there goes a garbage truck whizzing by. Um, they're all getting on in a single lane, so maybe that doesn't really help that much. They look like they're alternating. Uh, we can fit more on the road anyway. I mean, we could attempt... I mean, I don't think this is going to work, because I don't... Yeah, there's just not enough room for it. Uh, there is in some spots, but not in other spots, so... Uh, that might be something that we got to redo at some point. This was kind of a whim, I just wanted to see if this was going to work. Um, which was, was interesting. So, all right. Um, oh, oh dear. We've got something broken here. So let's fix that. That might be the cause of some of our issues. So get back to our highway. It looks like that one needs to be flipped. And now some of these garbage trucks should end up using that because they can get down to that zone over there. Let's wait for somebody to use this. Okay, good. There's some traffic going down that way now. Excellent. And some more weird, weird uh, roads here, but it's just really hard to get things to line up. You know, what, do, what it does on one side of the road over here, it doesn't necessarily let you do on this side of the road. And of course, I mean, the terrain is sloped also, so that's probably part of it, but... Um, that's that's kind of a big frustration for me. I, I like things to be to look good and to be aligned and to have symmetry when they're supposed to have symmetry. So, all right. Well, I mean, this interchange is looking really good now, and this one is looking really good, apart from you know where it just dead ends there. So that's good. Uh, even this traffic down here, the backing up, is not nearly as bad as it once was. So that is a good sign. Um, Cool. We still have this this problem intersection here. Actually, it's moved now, and that's probably due to traffic coming along these areas. Okay, but things things are improving. Um, the more we push out into the old parts of our city and redo them, the better things are getting. So uh, that is good to see. So this is an issue, but. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's, now that we've done that, actually I'm gonna hook it up to this here, just in a temporary fashion at least, and then we can get to zoning some of this stuff up here. Okay, we're back, and I've got some of the road laid out here. You'll see we added uh, a three-way interchange here, put a highway along the uh, river frontage, um, sort of a weird and wacky three-way uh, interchange here. Uh, I think this highway I'm going to extend this direction probably in the future, so this will get cleaned up. This is pretty ugly right now. Um, and down here, this is okay I think for now, but uh, we may continue this ring highway down this direction as well in the future. Um, we'll just see how the city expands. Um, let's see, what else did I do off camera? Um, tweak this thing a little bit. Uh, since this highway isn't going to go through to the north, uh, I just truncated it here uh, where it attaches to the, the octagonal roundabout thingy. Uh, and that is, this is a real mess. We can probably clean this up now that we know it's a three-way uh, interchange. Um, so that is something we can do. But I laid out the road here. We ended up with kind of a funny block with uh, five um, five tiles, so I threw in a pedestrian walkway, and this will continue all the way down this direction, uh, which is good. And let's look at our zones. So this is kind of what I'm thinking zone-wise. We've got a bunch of residential, and then just a mix of office and commercial. Down in this funny corner, I figured we might as well put in some uh, light commercial as well. You know, this would be like your day-to-day -day shopping, whereas I think the the um, high-density commercial is more like, well, actually it says here department stores and supermarkets. Um, but you know the way that they look in the city? Uh, let's find some high-density. Where's my high-density commercial that's doing well? 
It's over here. Like, this big pink building here, that is not a supermarket. Or any sort of shopping. This is like... Yeah, this is like a high-rise office building, so I'm not really <laughs> entirely sure. They don't look like what they are, I guess, but, you know. So we've got that in there. We have kind of a funny uh, wide block here, but we probably just throw some trees in there. Um, one trick that I've been doing, actually, is demolishing trees. And this might sound weird, but there's a limit in the game as to how many uh, trees you can have. And when you build on top of trees, the trees don't actually go away. The, the model just uh, is no longer visible, but the tree is still there and still counts towards that tree cap. So if you've got an area that you're going to you know, fill in with uh, zones, you may want to just you know, actually come and bulldoze a lot of these trees and then put them back where you end up actually wanting them. Uh, that way you won't run into that tree cap uh, and be disappointed when suddenly you can't place any more trees and you don't see any on the map that you can demolish because they're all underneath buildings and roads and things. Um, so I didn't do this before we lay down the roads, but um, you know, there's probably still a few stuff under there, but this will, this will definitely help that cap quite a bit by doing this. So that's probably good for now. Just take out this last little row. All right, everything has electricity and water, so now I think we just want to let this run and see what happens. Actually, one more thing before we do that. Uh, the reason I was in this section was to do that. And that, oops, I didn't want to do dirt, though. Um, does this clean things up any? Sort of. It's kind of a, a trick to see if you can get this stuff to, to reconnect any better. Um, and maybe, oops, uh, maybe let's try one here as well. There we go. I mean, we lose a little bit in this corner, but we get nice square ones everywhere else. So, nice square zones. Okay, so let's, let's actually let this run now. And we have lots of commercial demands, so the commercial should stop pop should blah, 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 should start popping up right away is what I am trying to say uh, and let's uh, let's just take a look at traffic um, I'll show you traffic in some of these other areas uh, this interchange when I showed it to you last had roads going backwards and stuff it was all screwed up and I didn't notice so I fixed that um, and it doesn't look like it uh, really made traffic any worse so I think this is doing okay, and you can see where the congestion is, is where it dumps onto the city streets, so that's as expected. Um, and this, this is just horrendous here. <laughs> um, those are all people trying to get on the highway, I guess. Uh, but we're, we're just going to leave that be for, for the time being. Uh, power. So I did, I did route power up this direction, probably would be a good idea to maybe sneak some in under the highway here. So let's see if we can do that. Can we... Is there enough room there? It doesn't look like it. All right, let's try... Um, let's see here. I'm looking at all those posts where we, where we can actually go. Well, we could do that. That will be a little bit. And we could do maybe... I don't think I zoned any of that yet, so we'll just we'll let that connect up, which it's not doing, I guess. Build one more here, that'll be connected, which would be nice. There we go. Okay, so that's that's a connected block, which is great. And then we just need I hate doing this because then I forget about it and then I lose zones, but I guess for now we'll do like that. <laughs> it's not quite touching. Okay, now it's touching. There we go. Okay, that should be enough to start development up nicely. Uh, now we should look at our city services. So we have nothing up here for health. Fire is not too bad because we have this guy over here, but we definitely need another fire station. 
and probably I want to put these in these funny spots down here where they're gonna use up some of this ugly ugly stuff so it looks like actually what if we put it on the other side of the road okay yeah let's let's throw our fire station down right here and let's look at police police coverage also we could put the police and the fire station together that makes a lot of sense um, and now health oh you know I was on death care that's why that was working because it's next to this thing okay but yeah clinic now oh, it can't quite fit it in there um, fit it let's see it doesn't quite fit there without destroying zones but actually right there might not be bad I guess we don't really want all of those service vehicles popping into the same intersection though do we so maybe I will put it I'll put it uh, yeah I'll put it there for now and we'll see what happens um, and then death care, we probably want a crematorium over here somewhere, and it looks like we could probably fit one right there. Perfect. Okay, so those guys are happy. Let's uh, let's come back to our usual view here. Ah, yes, the and this cemetery. Then I was emptying this out. It is emptied, so we are going to destroy it because I think those cemeteries. Um, we're possibly interfering with the operation of the crematoriums, like the hearses were preferentially bringing people to the, the cemeteries or something. Because uh, as soon as I turned off the last few cemeteries, our death problem got way, way better. Um, especially over here. So if we look at, oh yeah, here's the building levels are doing really good here. Um, but I want, what I wanted to click on was land value. University Village is great. And this place is definitely improved after we sort of redid it. And, uh, you know, we've got this zone, which is still a big mess, but... And this all over here is just terrible. So, okay, but happiness generally, overall, is really good. Commercial happiness is slightly low, but uh, we're doing good. Okay, we're back up over 50,000 population as well, which is good to see. Uh, we still don't have any residential demand, but uh, also we should check our pollution, because this is all going to have to get distributed somewhere where it's not going to be right next to our industrial, of course. But, uh, okay, so, so we will let this run and come back when people start moving in. Okay, we got a few residents starting to move in, which is a great sign. Uh, I've just started plopping down some trees in some of these little funny corners here to, to fill in. Uh, and I think I'll just you know, continue doing that as, as we go. Probably I'll dezone some of the funny little corners too and just do some nice trees and stuff. Um, but I'm going to let this go for a while and just see how the traffic works. I'm afraid that this is going to be a traffic nightmare. Um, these overpasses here are not in great spots, I think, because we've got a five-way intersection now, which is, you know, not ideal. The more the more roads go into the intersection, the more complicated and congested it gets. And uh, what you see people doing is coming down. Well, look at this. Okay, so they're coming down this road, getting on the freeway, immediately exiting, and then going across. <laughs> um, so that's, that's weird. I mean, it means you... I don't know. I don't know why they're doing that instead of taking this this thing. Probably because these are faster speed limits. But still, that's that's unfortunate. So we'll have to rethink that a bit, I think, into the future. But uh, for now, things are looking good with this zone. People are moving in quickly. And actually, let's just take a quick peek. Um, so our land value is not... Not super high yet, but I'm hearing a lot of upgrading buildings. And yeah, you can see the uh, commercial went just 
zoomed right up to uh, the top level, level three. So, and I see the uh, residential buildings are are close behind. So, excellent. All right. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. So I hope everybody enjoyed and uh, leave a like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you want to see what else I do. And uh, leave some comments for me if you see something that you want to you want me to put into the city or if you have any suggestions or hints for me. Oh, look at that. Uh, I'd love to, to read them and to reply. I try to reply to all the comments that I get. So, well that's cool. I kind of like that building. That's pretty neat. Especially if you lived up here on the top floor. The, wah, the penthouse. Get a little roof garden. Nice. Cool. Well, until everybody blah 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 blah, my brain is not working very well today. What I mean to say is until next time, everybody have a great day, and I'll see you then.